I would like to come back to some organizational aspects uh, for uh, relating and how text plus is related to Clarion, how Clarion is related to uh, text plus. And one of the biggest challenges, biggest problems when talking about infrastructures uh, that are funded on a project base uh, is the issue of sustainability. And sustainability does have several aspects. So we have a technical sustainability uh, where partners and infrastructures are asked or uh, have to be provided in a way that they are accessible for the long term. We also need a legal um, we also have legal aspects, so we need licenses, we have to be compliant with several um, frameworks, with several uh, uh, laws, for, for instance, uh, um, um, GDPR, um, and we need contracts that make sure that the resources and our activities are usable in a, a longer term. Of course, we need also a financial sustainability uh, that things that are funded on a project as a project uh, may survive in the future. And uh, last but not least, we also need an organizational sustainability. And I'm going to talk about the last thing mainly. As uh, Francesca Frontini and uh, Francesca de Jong already mentioned in the beginning, uh, Clarin does have uh, quite some history in Germany. Uh, it started even before Clarin started somehow uh, as a national uh, project uh, that in a way worked uh, together with the uh, preparation, preparatory phase of Clarin. Uh, from 2011 till 2019, Clarin D was uh, funded as uh, a project on a project base. And from 2019 to 2021, uh, there was uh, a kind of a merger of the national infrastructure for Clarin and the national infrastructure for the area of Daria, namely the Claria uh, approach. And uh, this is done in several European countries and it was done in Europe, in, in Germany as well. So uh, we had several projects, but the nature of projects is that projects run out of funding at some point in time, but infrastructures shouldn't. So um, we have, of course, uh, the European level. So for the European membership or the, for the membership in the, in the Clarion Eric, we have the annual membership fee, and we also need to provide something that is done in Germany. So we need somehow something like a national organization uh, to bring together those who are interested in Clarin in Germany. So um, on the national level, uh, the funding, the that was related to the term Clarin uh, ran out. So there was no public funding after the financial finalization of the national projects. And uh, the services have to continue. And uh, this is somehow uh, possible. I will talk about uh, how in a minute, um, but we need some kind of organizational form. So what's the status for Clarin? So we do have a technical um, infrastructure. We do have uh, the migration of the Clarin D services, for instance, uh, uh, also the WebLicht service. Um, and this is merged or is, is transferred to the new um, project Text Plus. And even though Text Plus and the National Research Data Infrastructure is a project right now, the aim of this National Research Infrastructure is to have a sustainable infrastructure that is going to be funded. Uh, well, it's difficult to say forever, but uh, uh, not on a project basis, at least. 
So we have um, uh, also some legal aspects. Uh, so the clarin D expertise is um, in a way transferred to the tax plus. The financial aspect, so the membership of, uh, of Germany in the clarin Eric is uh, continued, but what we do not have after the projects uh, run out of funding was something like uh, organizational infrastructure. Well, in a way, we have Tax Plus now. Tax Plus is a large community, and Tax Plus, as Eric Hinrichs already mentioned, uh, has members from Clarion, from Daria, from the National Library, from the academies, and so on. And Tax Plus is part of the German national research data infrastructure that builds a larger infrastructure for all domains, essentially. But text plus is not Clarion. Although there are many Clarion D centers involved in text plus as a member, there are no independent unit in text plus that could be mentioned the Clarion unit. So, So what do we need to reach such a legal institution? So we need, well, first of all, why do we need such a specific um, um, institution? Well, Text Plus needs a channel to exchange with Clarion, as well as, um, for instance, uh, for those who are involved in other groups, for instance, in the Daria group. Clarion works, so there are standards, activities, center certification, and all these things. So the European Clarion works very well, uh, but TextPass is in a, in a way not really connected to this formally, just by the fact that some of the Clarion centers are in TextPass. So what do we need essentially? Well, we need a community, a clearing community on the national level, and therefore we need some kind of a legal entity. So when searching for a legal entity, we have to ask ourselves several questions. And we answered these questions with the demands on such a legal entity. We need something that is tried and tested, that is, uh, does have a non-profit status. Um, we should allow uh, this, um, this legal entity should be allowed or should be a possible beneficiary um, of public funds. We need low costs. This legal entity must be open, should have a democratic structure, and it should have the possibility for community participation. And after all, we need something that is modularly organized. So what we need is an association in German Verein. And what we did is we transformed and renamed an already existing as an association, namely the Text Grid Verein, that was established in 2013 to serve these purposes. Why have we done this? Well, first of all, to interlink the Clarion community with the community, um, the German Clarion community with the Eric to establish contact points for researchers, stakeholders, infrastructures, and also funders. We transferred this existing Verein to a new association since there was a large overlap of former members of this existing association and the Claria partners. So in, uh, in the end, uh, we have the 
option to sustainably provide declaring services collaboratively to shape the future of services and to rely on a non-for-profit legal form that has essentially no much hurdles, no red tape. Who are the members? Well, it's not just Clarion members, but uh, also the Daria members and some other in, uh, associations and uh, legal entities are a member of this um, association. And this associ association allows the members to have a legal entity. We have the distinction between full and associate members. Um, the modular participation is possible and members provide their resources, they contribute to the aims of this association as well as to the aims of the ERICS, for instance, Clarin. So this um, association offers services like research, access to funding, resource provision, networking, and it offers a structure as an association needs. So there's a general assembly, there are elections, there are coordinating councils, but within this structure, the national coordinators of existing ERICs, uh, most notably here, uh, the Clarion ERIC, are involved in a way um, due to, um, so each member of an, of an ERIC in the field of the humanities should have the chance to become active in the structure and visible in the structure of this association. And this association also allows for um, corporations, not only with the ERICs, but also in our case with the National Research Data Infrastructure and with government and with the funders. So this was a very quick tour to this association. And this is our answer to the fact that the organizational um, sustainability is not directly transferable to the Clarin or to Tax Plus, but uh, we did this little detour and this allows us to continue to work as a um, partner in the Clarin Eric.